Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. What I wanted to do and tried to do before was I read a short short that I had written just a tiny bit ago, but I wanted to have a fiction type podcast, not an actual podcast podcast, maybe working up to one, but for right now, I just want to read stories so that people can hear them. So right now, this is a story well, actually, it's a prologue to a much larger work, but it is The Tragedy of Maxwell Blue by Evan. And so it's 602 words, apparently, probably including the title. But I just wanted to give that a read for everybody. And then, hopefully, you will enjoy. So very, very cool. Now, again, this is The Tragedy of Maxwell Blue. This is the prologue. Drip, drip, drip. The sound faded, as if a rod of earshot. Then it began again, slowly. It stayed the same pace, unchanging. Drip, drip, drip. It began to become louder and clearer. The sound of buzzes and various beeps could be heard throughout the environment. The building felt of sorrow, of weeping, full of death, and yet, in a strange hypocrisy, full of life. People are born here. People die here. And then there's me. I shouldn't be here, and yet I am. I should have passed by now, and yet I'm clinging, despite what happened. I fell. I hit the pavement, and I crumbled. Yet I'm alive. The pavement should have left me crippled, shredded of all essence of life. All 206 bones should have snapped like twigs, but they aren't, are they? And with that thought came a realization. I am not here. I am not there. I'm somewhere else. It happens so slowly. It happens in five seconds. Firstly, feeling of weightlessness. Next, the immediate terror as you hurtle downwards into your descent. You view the people below you, and it seems to stop. So do you. You go limp. You don't remember. I woke to the sounds of distant machinery and static. I should have been strapped in, safe and sound, but I wasn't. You don't expect yourself to make the safety latch snap off in a desperate attempt to feel something, nor do you expect everything to go haywire. You entrust your safety and your health in the nuts and bolts of attractions, and then wonder why they failed you, only to know that you failed you. And then you realize it's no one's fault, simply something that happens because you wanted to experience what living was like. And as you go in and out of consciousness, you experience a new lesson. Looking down at your own body is a surreal experience. All the cuts, the scrapes, the bloodied bandages, and the disfigurement of your former self, you're left a shell of once was. What's keeping me here still? Why is this happening to me? You ask questions, but you don't get the answers to them. And then you notice what's keeping you alive. Why you're still ticking. Life support amongst all the bruises, the cuts, the reminders of present agony. Looking down at my mangled form, I realize I don't have much time left. And in that room of pearlescent white, of aubergine wallpaper, there was no one there for me. No one there to check and see if I'm in a stable condition. No one was there to place their worries into the universe. The only sounds were of rings and warbles, until those noises stopped, until those in white coats holding metallic clipboards rushed in, until the time was called. Until that menagerie of entangled limbs and empty frame is fermented into uselessness. As the cascade of apparatus ended, so too did myself. Those in the white coats held a pristine stopwatch. A lone doctor spoke. Time of death, 8.30 p.m. And that was that. A part of me was gone. The physical aspect. They covered the corpse in pale sheets and moved it out of the room. And as they did so, I was now keenly aware of my situation. As the empty husk left, I ascended upwards. Now looking down at the tile flooring of the cramped space, my thoughts a jumbled mess. Looking to myself, I noticed I was nothing if not translucent, nothing if not blank. I made the realization. I am simply 
not here. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed this little piece. A little piece by Evan, the prologue to the tragedy of Maxwell Blue. I thank you very, very much for listening. It is very cool. I sincerely hope you enjoyed. I'm going to be doing more when I come up with more of my writings, or if you send a story to me, just my email is in the show more below, nearly senior citizen at gmail.com. Just email me a short story, and if it's not too long and, you know, the subject matter isn't horrific, I will certainly give it a read. So thank you very, very much. You take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friends, and that is a very good thing.